with WrestleMania 26 on the horizon. Total superstars entered the elimination chamber, but only two survived. Who survived? Watch review, find out. Hey guys, WWE Punk Fan 19 here with my WWE Elimination Chamber pay per view review. And I'm gonna say, this was a really, really good pay per view. I enjoyed it. I'm not, I'm not sure about you guys, but really good pay per view. But the endings were really pissed me off, you know? Pay per view pissed me off, but it was really good and fun to watch. Alright, so the first match that started out the pay per view was the Elimination Chamber match for the WWE Championship. WWE Champion Sheamus vs. John Cena vs. Rain Jordan vs. Ted DiBiase vs. Triple H vs. Cole Kingston. Overall, really, really good ch chamber match. Um, the, all six uh, participants were actually in the chamber at once in the ring. Like, all of them were in at once. But the first elimination occurred when um, Cody Rhodes threw in a pipe or whatever it was. It was I don't know what it was. And threw it, and Ted DiBiase got it. Like, he was attending to throw it to Rain Jordan, but DiBiase got it. Um... John Cena has Rain Jordan the FU attitude adjustment. I'm sorry, not FU attitude adjustment. And then um, Teddy Bass ends up hitting Rain Jordan in the back with the pipe. And Teddy Bass ends up F. Well, not Teddy Bass. John Cena ends up attitude adjusting Rain Jordan. And then Teddy Bass hits John Cena with the pipe. And he pins Rain Jordan. One, two, three. Rain Jordan's eliminated. So Teddy Bass has eliminated Rain Jordan. And then uh, about two minutes later, um, Teddy Bass gets eliminated by Kofi Kingston. And Kofi Kingston hit the Trouble in Paradise on Teddy Bass. Um, one, two, three, eliminated. And the next game eliminated was uh, Kofi Kingston after Sheamus hit the Celtic Cross on him. One, two, three, eliminated uh, Kofi Kingston. And then uh, Sheamus gets eliminated next after Triple H hits the pedigree on him. Uh, one, two, three, Triple H eliminates him. And then John Cena eliminates Triple H after he puts the STF and Triple H taps out. And then John Cena is your new WWE Champion. But then... Within not even a minute, John Cena, you know, the ref's giving him the WWE title. Cena's laying on the thing, you know, on his knees looking at the WWE title. Then all of a sudden, Vince McMahon's music plays. He comes out and says, congratulations, Mr. Cena. You are going to main eventing WrestleMania, but if, but you have to defend it against this man. And then all of a sudden, Batista comes out, you know, he's all smiling and everything running down the ring. Gets in the ring, he's all smiling at Cena. Then uh, Cena punches Batista. And that pisses Batista off, and Batista spares John Cena. And then he hits a Batista bomb in 1, 2, 3. Batista is your new WWE champion, which I do not like at all. But now we all know, ladies and gentlemen, that John Cena will face Batista most likely at WrestleMania for the WWE Championship. So that's probably going to be official soon. So look forward to that match. So John Cena wins the Elimination Chamber, but Batista ends up walking out WWE Champion. All right. The next match was the Intercontinental Championship match. Intercontinental Champion Drew McIntyre vs. Kane. Um, I'm not sure about you guys, but I enjoyed this match. Really, really good. Um, the ending, what happened was um, Kane had him in corner, and the referee was breaking him up. And then Drew McIntyre hits the thumb to Kane's eye. Then he hits the uh, Scott drop, he calls it. And 1, 2, 3, and retains the Intercontinental Championship. Better match than I expected to be for his, you know, uh, kind of big guys. You know, McIntyre is tall, but he's not getting big like Kane. But no matter, still overall a good match. Then you have backstage, you have Gail Kim walking to the ring, and then Maurice is all speaking French again. And then Gail Kim's like, no, Maurice, I know you're speaking, you know, trash to me in French, so. And she, then she starts speaking uh, trash to Maurice in French. It's like, okay, that was weird. And then they go down in the ring. The Divas Championship match is next. Maurice versus Gail Kim. They're in the ring. Then all of a sudden, Vicky Guerrero comes out saying the match is postponed. Um, it's now a tag team match. And then M Michelle McCool and Layla come out. And it's a tag team Diva match now. And um, Gail Kim's in the match the whole time. Maurice didn't want to get in. When then Michelle McCool hit the Faith Breaker on Gail Kim one two three and wins the match, so it wasn't a good match at all because it was Gail Kim the whole time. Maurice just stood there, and then uh, Michelle McCool Leela end up winning the match like I said, and um, nothing special about the match. And then um, backstage you have the Miz backstage getting interviewed, talking about uh, mentoring Daniel Bryan on a NXT this Tuesday. He's saying how he got all the gold and he's gonna teach. Like, Ted Lewis says, he said he is, the Miz is, you know, he's awesome. People actually know him. And he calls Daniel um, basically a loser. He said, he quotes that um, the Miz, watch, looking at uh, Brian Daniel now, um, or Daniel Bryan, whatever the hell his name is, looking at him now, he looks like a, uh, a kid you'd see in a Star Wars convention line, he says. Uh, he says, basically what he said, he's a loser right now. And the Miz says after he's done with him, he'll be, you know, a winner. So, and then MVP comes backstage with the Miz and says, you know, Miz, you know what happened this past Monday and Raw when I pinned you? Uh, well, that earned me a U.S. title match, so we're going to have a United States Championship match tonight. 
And then it goes to the United States Championship match. United States Champion, The Miz versus MVP. Overall, this is a lot better than their uh, Royal Rumble match, in my opinion, even though The Miz dominated the whole match. Um, at the end, Miz actually got busted open, which is awesome. Um, what happened then was Big Show got involved, and then MVP. The MEP, yeah, I was going to say Mark Henry, but I said MEP instead. Uh, MEP came out and looked at Big Show, then Mark Henry started coming out. They started brawling, and then Mark Henry uh, went up to attack Big Show, but Big Show like moved out of the way. And he ended up going through the little um, side area where the announcers, and not the announcers, but the ring announcers sit, which was awesome. And then um, The Miz was getting uh, aided by the referee. And then the Big Show ends up hitting the knockout punch on MVP, and the Miz ends up retaining the United States Championship, which I am happy about. I thought he was going to lose it in the match. So Miz is still the United States Champion. Very glad about that. And then, um, ladies and gentlemen, we go to the main event, which was the Elimination Chamber match for the World Heavyweight Championship. World Heavyweight Champion Undertaker versus Chris Jericho versus CM Punk versus John Morrison versus Ram Seer versus R-Truth. Overall, a really good match as well. Um, not as good as the Raw Elimination Chamber, but it was still a good match. Um... What happened was the first elimination occurred on R Truth when CM Punk hit the GTS on R Truth, eliminating him. And then um, uh, CM Punk got eliminated by Rey Mysterio when Rey Mysterio hit the Hurricane off the top ropes. And um, um, CM Punk ended up landing on the steel steps to win the match. Not to win the match, but eliminate CM Punk, my bad. And then you had uh, Rey Mysterio get eliminated by John Morrison after John Morrison hit Starship Pain on Rey Mysterio. Then you had John Morrison get eliminated by The Undertaker after The Undertaker hit the choke slam on John Morrison on the steel steps and pins him. And then you have Chris Jericho eliminate Undertaker after Shawn Michaels um, uh, gets in the ring and sweet chins The Undertaker. Like, it was weird too, like, he was under the thing. Because all you see is the steps get pushed up and uh, Shawn Michaels comes out, sweet chin music The Undertaker, and then Chris Jericho pins him, and Chris Jericho is now your new World Heavyweight Champion which is going to lead to him versus Edge at WrestleMania. So, overall, this is like a really good pay-per-view. Um, I'll probably give it like an 8 out of 10, or 8.5 out of 10, one of those two. But overall, really good pay-per-view by WWE. Um, I like the way they're going with these pay-per-views. Hopefully, the next pay-per-view, WrestleMania, is going to be great. Um, this is my Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Dota Punk Fan 19, and I'm out, guys. Thanks for watching.